Hello and how are you all doing today? I hope you're well. Last week I gave you two different bits of the story of Holy Week, didn't I? We thought about Palm Sunday and we thought about Maundy Thursday and Teddy Robinson came along to join us. This week I want us to think about the last day in Holy Week before we get to Easter and that's the sad part of the story because we get to the bit where Jesus ends up on a cross. I expect you know what happened between Maundy Thursday and Good Friday. What happened was Jesus went out into a garden to pray to God with his friends and um, he got arrested and he got taken away and he got beaten and judged and people decided that he needed to be punished for talking about God and for teaching people a different way to live and so they put him on a cross and that's a horrible way to be hurt and his body couldn't cope with it really and so he died but we don't think about it as something that is just about someone being punished and treated badly for something that they hadn't done we think about it as a sign of hope and love. That's a strange thing, isn't it? Let me show you some pictures and we'll have a think about it. So this first picture is a garden. It's an Easter garden and it goes in one of our churches in Tilshead, in fact. And at the moment it looks a bit like the desert, doesn't it? But um, at Easter it gets flowers put in it as well. And up here you can see that there is a cross with one on either side because it says in the Bible that Jesus died on the cross and there was a man on each side of him and it's up on a hill outside of the city. But we've got another picture of a cross which I think is rather beautiful and let me see if I can just find it for you. This one. This one was made by children in Shruton Church one day at a thing called Experience Easter. And if you look at this cross, it's made out of ribbons and little pebbles. And it's a bit of a different image, isn't it? It looks a little bit more beautiful. And it shows us and it reminds us that Jesus dying on the cross was about showing love and care and sacrifice. Sacrifice is giving something up so that other people can benefit. And Jesus died on the cross, we believe, so that we could all be free, so that we could live our lives freely and we could have every opportunity to do what we want. The last picture I want to show you is a Christingle. And do you remember a few weeks ago when you were at home, you might have made a Christingle with your family. And we remembered two things on the Christingle that I want to remind you of today as we think about Good Friday. The first one is this ribbon. I'm not sure you can see it very well in this picture, but it's just there. The red ribbon that goes all the way round the Christingle. And it's a ribbon that reminds us of Good Friday and of Jesus dying on the cross because it reminds us of his love for us. And that's what Good Friday is all about. It's about God's love all around the world. And the other thing that's important to remember is this candle in the middle. Because even though Jesus died on the cross, we believe at Easter, we celebrate his coming back to life again. And the light in the middle of the candle, of uh, the um, Christingle here, reminds us of God's love for us that can never be put out, can never be extinguished. That God's love is there always, whatever we face and whatever is happening. So that sign and symbol there is one to remind us that Good Friday is called good because it was a day when God showed huge love for everybody. He showed that love is stronger than death. Love is stronger than hurt. Love is stronger than anger. Love always wins. And that's what Good Friday is all about. We're going to 
take a moment now and think about the things that we face in our lives which are hard when we feel hurt or stressed or worried about something when we feel that nobody cares and no one is interested and we're going to remember before God that he is with us and that his love always wins and can never be snuffed out. Let's sit quietly and think about those things that are difficult for us. Heavenly Father, we think about all the things that make us sad or anxious. We think about the things that go wrong, the things that hurt. And we ask you that in those times when we feel really that life is not easy and that we are scared or lonely or hurting, that we will remember that you are always with us, that love always wins and that your love is there for everyone all over the world because of your son Jesus. We ask this in his name. Amen. Well, we've come to the end of our thinking about Holy Week and next week I hope I will see you outside to celebrate Easter. Bye-bye.